Call of Duty is finally complete on Steam, and <laughs> it's about time. Not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sex. Greetings demons, and welcome to a Call of Duty discussion video. So, as the preamble little opening actually suggested pretty clearly, Call of Duty in its entirety is now fully available on Steam, which is great. It's honestly something that a lot of people have been wanting for a very, very long time, and by very, very long time, I mean about three years. Um, but yeah, obviously we had Modern Warfare 2 return to Steam with, you know, the recent release, the most recent release, should I say, of Call of Duty. And prior to that, the previous three years, all the way from Modern Warfare to Cold War, had been completely exclusive to Battle.net. And if you don't know what Battle.net is, it's the Activision Blizzard launcher. It's a competitor to Steam. Uh, it's kind of in the same way as the EA launcher or Uplay. And it was the only place you could actually get Vanguard, Black Ops Cold War, and Modern Warfare 2019, obviously. Along with, I believe, for a time at least, it was exclusive for Modern Warfare Remastered and Modern Warfare Campaign Remastered. Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, should I say. And, yeah, we, for a long time we thought that that was just going to be the case forever. Even when Modern Warfare 2 came back to Steam, it was kind of assumed that we weren't going to be getting any of the other games that weren't already on, you know, Steam, back to Steam. And just to make it clear, every single Call of Duty game since Call of Duty 1, barring a few of the console exclusives, is available on Steam and have been since each of their releases on PC. It's just kind of a thing that you have always been able to do. Up until Modern Warfare, you could literally buy a bundle that included the entire Call of Duty franchise with all DLCs on Steam. And right now, you can, once again, complete your collection of Call of Duty. It's such a weird thing. The fact that I actually was just randomly scrolling through Steam and saw this was surreal. Because I thought... It was a glitch at first, especially I actually clicked on Cold War because I was interested in seeing what kind of pricing it is. Uh, which, by the way, all these games are on sale right now. I will get into that a little bit later. But yeah, Cold War, when I clicked on it and, you know, did the age verification because for some reason my account doesn't just allow me to see 18 plus games. Weird, I know. But in any case, I clicked on Cold War and it actually just took me to a different game page. Which, I have double checked, you can actually get to the Cold War page, and it's fine, it's all good. Just for some reason, it glitched out for me in that moment, but I was so confused as to what happened, because obviously, up until now, we did not have Call of Duty on Steam. At least those three titles. And I will say for a fact, Modern Warfare, Cold War, and Vanguard, you know, they are very mixed games. Modern Warfare is... I'd say generally pretty popular, Vanguard extremely unpopular, and Cold War is pretty much somewhere in the middle there. People like it. I actually, out of the three of them, prefer Cold War to Modern Warfare and Vanguard. But yeah, at the same time, it's very much why now of all times. Like, right now Modern Warfare 2 is kind of in a lull. We're seeing a lot of people leaving the game, and it's completely possible that, that may actually be the reason. We're finally getting Modern Warfare, Vanguard, and Black Ops Cold War onto Steam so that more people that, you know, currently play Modern Warfare 2 on Steam and, you know, maybe skipped out on those previous years because they were on Battle.net, giving them the opportunity to play those campaigns, play those zombies experiences, and just generally enjoy Call of Duty again. It is very odd to me because right now, Modern Warfare Vanguard and Black Ops Cold War are all completely connected games in terms of their progression but aren't connected to Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 and, you know, by extension Warzone 2.0 are completely separated from those previous three games. So it's not like growing the player base for the previous three years is going to help them other than with a minor monetary boost. And speaking of which, right now is probably the best time if you are someone who doesn't own Modern Warfare Vanguard and Cold War on PC and plays on Steam. It's really worth it. Modern Warfare right now is 67% off at £16.49. Vanguard is 50% off at £24.99, which isn't great, admittedly. Especially when Vanguard is definitely the worst of the three, but still. And then Black Ops Cold War is also 67% off at £16.49. Personally, even as someone who owns Cold War on Battle.net, 
I might end up getting on Steam just for the accessibility. And when it comes to Modern Warfare, I don't own it on PC. This would be the first time I own it on PC, which would be great, especially at that price. I'm very happy with that. Just to be able to go back to that campaign and pretty much nothing else because I don't really love the multiplayer of Modern Warfare. Cold War, though, as I say, probably my favourite of the three. Has great zombies, has pretty good multiplayer, and overall a really fun campaign, which I have done a Let's Play of. You can check that out, that out on the channel. I'll link that in the description below if I remember. But, yeah, Modern Warfare Vanguard and Black Ops Cold War, finally on Steam. It just... It's so surprising to me, and obviously this will be going up on the 9th. These became available on the 8th. You know, time works in mysterious ways and stuff like that. But the point is, the games are available. And the more platforms that games like Call of Duty are available on, the better. Because I know plenty of people that straight up refuse to use platforms other than Steam. People that don't necessarily not play games like Fortnite because it's Fortnite, and more... Don't play Fortnite because it's not on Steam. And the same has been the case the last few years for Call of Duty. Locking things behind different platforms, whether that be different consoles, different, you know, actual platforms that you play on, or just different launches, it really stops people from being interested in a title. And I'm glad that a bunch of my friends that play on Steam but don't play on Battle.net or don't have, you know, other launches installed, i finally going to get a chance to actually play some of what I think are the best campaigns in Call of Duty history with Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War. The less said about Vanguard, the better. I've also done a Let's Play of Vanguard's campaign. I regretted it, and I don't think those videos are that good anyway. But the point still stands. Modern Warfare and Cold War have great campaigns that are worth revisiting. And I'd say if you're a fan of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare has a pretty comparable you know, set of extra modes which you'll probably enjoy, and Cold War, it's, as I say, one of, not the, but one of the best zombie experiences there is. It's up there with Black Ops 3, plus, you know, all the DLC, for being the best experience in modern Call of Duty history, everything since Ghost, essentially. And, yeah, that is really everything I can ramble about with this whole thing. I was just... I needed to talk about it because it's such an interesting and cool thing to finally actually have. Like, access to these games has been really annoying. Like, I despise Battle.net. I really wish Overwatch 2 was not on Battle.net. It's the only game I actually have installed on it. And, you know, I uninstalled Cold War because I had enough of Battle.net. Battle.net annoys me. <laughs> and as I say, I, I only have Battle.net now for Overwatch 2 and... That's probably why I'm going to be getting Cold War on Steam. Even though I already have it, I'm going to get it again. Purely because I just want the accessibility features. It's so much better on Steam. Everything is so much better on Steam. And, you know, I'm an Epic shill. Don't get me wrong. I love that the free games and stuff on Epic Launcher. And, you know, Fortnite and Rocket League and stuff like that. But, at the end of the day, Cold War and Modern Warfare and Vanguard. Finally being on Steam just makes them more accessible more players are going to be able to play them and that can only be good both for the player bases and honestly at the end of the day Activision which you know I'm not trying to get Activision's profit margins up but I mean maybe they need it <laughs> if we want Call of Duty to stay alive and maintain its servers we probably probably need to give Activision a little bit of money every once in a while but yeah in any case that is going to be it for this very very rambly and spontaneous video so I hope you enjoyed if you did, make sure to like it, subscribe if you're new and ring the bell so you never miss a upload. Also, comment below, what do you think about this news? What do you think about the fact that you can now play them on Steam? And also, as I said before, link in the description below. I will link to both the Vanguard playlist and the Black Ops Cold War playlist for the campaigns. And, uh, yeah, otherwise it's going to be up from me. And, yeah, bye! Look at the screen, you'll be fine Cultures of disease, but worlds of fire I just wanna taste